All right, a little different uh, video here today. Um, as you can see, I'm not at a park uh, yet, but over the next 40 hours or so, I'm driving from Florida, currently right now on the Turnpike, uh, a little bit, about a half hour north of Orlando. Uh, driving to Alabama, uh, been wanting to check out Oa for a while, and uh, the fact that Cannonball Run, the wooden coaster down the street from Oa, is closing, figured it out. Good excuse to head up there for the weekend. So just quick 40 hour there and back, more driving than part time. Um, but I just kind of want to bring you a vlog, a travel vlog here. So just a heads up before I get in the comments, hey, why didn't you show this? Why didn't you show this? It's gonna be a, a travel vlog, something a little different. Uh, uh, Drew Legend Ranger, they've all have videos of OA and Gulf Shores and all those uh, kind of golf uh, FECs from the last year or two on the channel. So if you're looking for detailed reviews of OA, um, grand opening ceremony from OWA, water bill, all that stuff. It's up on the channel. Uh, do a little search. We got tons of content there. So all right. See the water over there. We are now in Alabama, coming up on Gulf Shores. Just crossed over the state line. No, I mean, it's, it's a beach town. I'm not a beach guy, so uh, that's why I've never been here uh, really before for these parks. So, uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of beach. Hopefully, coaster somewhere. All right, so we made it to our first stop, the track. This is quite the elusive credit here. Uh, I know a lot of people come try to re uh, ride it, but uh, it's uh, it's not working. They say it's closed. It's been closed for a while. Despite the fact, if you look, the key is in the operator panel. And you could just walk in and operate. All right, so it's just shy of 12 o'clock. Our first real park of the trip. Oh, uh, it's literally in the middle of like nowhere. Like you're driving like, like if you've been to like Holiday World, it's kind of the same thing. You're just driving through cornfields and then like bam, it's here. It's about like 20 minutes north of the beach, so a little out of the way, but uh, got work through uh, City Walk or whatever they call this, downtown Disney, Owa Springs, I don't know, um, to get to uh, get to the park. There's actually like a couple cars here, so uh, people are here. Might just be employees. We'll go find out. All right, so here's their Owa Village Springs city oa walk place um i mean that's i think part of the problem uh i could foresee coming here is they don't have a lot of places full like um, if you watch some of the older videos like ranger and drew from last year they and they've added stuff like i think crazy donuts is new wall is new from last year but if they can't lease the prime spot right here you gotta wonder how much foot traffic is actually coming in but uh, the park's over here so uh let's go check it out Take that great Instagram shot here at Oa. Don't post it to social media. Download it to social media. All right, quick, uh, quick few comments on Oa. Like I said earlier in the video, Legend, Drew, Ranger, I think they all have videos from here from the last year or so. Opening ceremony coverage last year, this year. If you want a full tour and review, check those videos out. Just a uh, quick, uh, quick kind of few thoughts on the park. Uh, this is pretty rough. Not gonna lie, um, I know everything here is Ampler Perla, but uh, you know, would have been awesome if it was like a Eurofighter or something. But um, kind of rough, just shuffle all over and like kind of beat you up. A lot of trims on a lot of the hills too, which kind of like make the car kind of like slow and then jump and kind of shuffle more. Um, overall, I mean, the park looks really nice. Like look at this area right here. Um, they did, a, they did a nice job with uh, with building it. Um, doesn't just look like a carnival. Um, but you can also see it's new. Trees look nice, look beautiful, but they're not grown in yet. Um, so this is basically like some of the only shade in the park. You know, you can see here, trees don't even give much shade at all. So it gets really hot in September when I'm filming this. Can't imagine July. So, uh, you know, hopefully if they continue to add stuff, it'd be nice to see like some tables, umbrellas or something here just to help out. But overall, I mean, the park looks really nice for, for what it is. Uh, I'm not sure if I would recommend going out of your way, but if you're in the Gulf Shores area, uh, check out some of the, the credits around here. Swing in. A little pricey though, like 40 bucks I think with tax, so keep that in mind. Let me know when you're ready. Alright, roll. Alright, so, so Alan, what, what do you think? 
So, so Andrew skipped on the second ride because the first one. It's too much for me. I didn't yeah. like it. Um, so, so here's some things about this ride, okay? First of all, it's horrible. <laughs> like this ride, like you said, you liked it after the, the first ride. I was like, oh, this isn't bad, but I don't know if it's good. Like that last ride, so I was front middle, okay? First so you're over front the middle, track. So it's it three, been three seats in a row. Yeah. Because of course, like it's it's for like the divorced single mom and her two kids. <laughs> so first off, there's a trim on the first drop because these geniuses like completely like up everything in terms of the equations on every aspect of this yeah. ride. There's trims all over the ride. Yeah, there's there's a trim on an airtime hill like coming down. Yeah. Um Yeah, so anyway, so so that trim at first like like the back of the train like hits up with the front and it, it feels weird and janky. At the bottom of the loop there is a serious pothole. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. And it, like, like in the front, like in the back, I didn't feel this, but in this one, like it bottomed out. Like I think it's the middle seat actually is the worst seat on this ride. Is my, my guess. Um, so, do I need to start? From All right, beginning? no, no, no. We, yeah. we got you. So we had some technical difficulties, and we're back rolling next to Rolling Thunder. Yeah. So like at, at the bottom, like right here, it like it's like boom. Yeah. And I'm like, you're a skilled well, coaster, you don't do that. Well, like you said, there's something weird. I'm not an engineer at all, but it feels like, even though it's one car, the front and back half the car are like detached. Look at, and look, the, at the, look at this, look at the zero G roll. Like it has like such a weird, like pitching angle in the center of it. Like, and it doesn't help that you're like five feet off the track on these like <laughs> weird seats. So like the center line just feels off. So the airtime hill with the trim brake, when I came down on that, like, you hit the brake as you're in the air. So I went forward and I've never had my sternum land on the lap bar before. Like I didn't even know that was well, possible. The lap bars are really weird. Like the lap bars are like what I envisioned like the astronauts have to wear. Like there's a really tight lap bar that kind of like sky rush that like comes down over your thighs. And then there's a vest. And then there's still like an over shoulder collar. Like you are stra you're not going anywhere. It's like, like a combination of Maverick and a B&M hyper restraint. And what, yeah, that, like, feels, that yeah. has like a weird, like, it like angulates. Yeah. Like, it's like all and it's like, on like a spring too. It's really awkward. And, and so yeah, so you come down and like you get forced forward. So like, no matter what, unless you have like a super six pack that's literally steel, like if you are Colossus from the X-Men. I mean, like, I do and like, I still had trouble, so. You, yeah, you go like, you go like this and then like, then it comes up here, like into yeah. your, into your like chest yeah. bones. Like it wants to, And the seats are just hard open. plastic. I like, mean, let, let's 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 call it positives. You got this shade pavilion here, which is much yes. needed, and you can see it's like all like hardwood. They could have went with like cheap, uh, like vinyl, or you know, like a lot of parks with canvas or something. Yeah, like that. That is, fans. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm gonna There's walk through water. here because yeah, free water. We didn't have to argue for that like uh, we did at Adventureland. Got the kitty coaster over there, but I mean that's pretty much the whole park. Yeah, Front. I'd say like if you back. There's like a couple of single moms that are attractive if that's your thing. <laughs> um, well, because you like you said, it's uh, when you ride the coaster and for the divorced <laughs> mom and her two kids. Oh, here we go, here we go. And then you can replace the mom. Let's see, so, this, this is the airtime hill with the uh, trims right there. You can see them shove forward. Yeah, because uh, like you said, it's like the front half of the car runs through and then the back half catches up and kind of powers through. So, so that's uh. That's so what? Where's your next wooden roller coaster? Yeah, we're gonna, go, we're gonna go ride some Cannonball Run, man. In honor of uh, RIP. RIP to our, uh, our our Florida man, uh, Burt Fresh Reynolds. Lansing man. Yeah, Shout Lansing, out Lansing. Lansing, yeah. Uh, so uh, in honor of uh, Burt Reynolds, we're going to do some Cannonball Run. Yeah, we're gonna check out the souvenirs too, because like I feel like this park could be defunct. Yeah, like next year, and he's then gonna, it's collector. He's going to be like the collector. eBay Pirates you see at Disney. Uh, you can buy this after this place goes out yeah, of business. Yeah, IMG and... World, that's going to be gone soon. <laughs> so, uh, so we're going to go raid the gift shop and, uh, and pay off the, the $40 admission uh, price here by selling this stuff at CoasterCon uh, like 50 yeah, in like 20 years at all the eight people who never showed up. So, uh, no just days, but we're just saying you guys will probably want to buy the merchandise because you never showed up here. So let's end with uh, the sign. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready to leave. Uh, we're probably not going to be able to make it back later on this evening, but just in case we got a hand stamp. But in order to get back in the park, they don't put the hand stamp on your hand. You got to go to the gun show. Gun show. Yeah. 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 Gun Ola. show. Uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. Yeah, they stamp your like biceps, which, yeah, you got to go to the gun show to get back in Ola. All right, 
next park, it's like, uh, well, my clock's off because it's still Eastern time, so it's like one o'clock. We spent about 40 minutes at Ella, shot the road to Waterville for that right there, if you couldn't guess. Parking lot's kind of empty because, as the name says, it's Waterville, USA. But this time of year, there is no water park. It closes Labor Day weekend, so it's just an arcade with a wooden roller coaster that's about to close. So, uh, we better go on it. Let's go check it out. You wonder where the roller coaster is? Uh, the exit's there. The entrance is here. You enter inside. All right, take one last look at it. It's gonna be closing in a few weeks. Cannonball Run here at Waterville, USA. Um, not a not a bad ride. Uh, there's a couple of, a couple of hills early on that you get a nice pop of air. The problem is, sorry, you don't want to really shoot into the sun here, but it's not that tall. But in order to get back over the road here, these last few hills are a little too tall uh, to get any air time. It kind of bleeds off speed just so that you know they can get it high enough to get over the road. Um, but yeah, it's a thing. Probably the coolest part was on, at the, the top of the lift, you could see out to the ocean. Uh, it was pretty cool. You don't see that on every ride. So one last look. Say goodbye. All right, so we actually just left Alabama, which apparently is called The Beautiful. Uh, you said you left Alabama. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh. He's in Alabama. Oh, oh. we're going to go to Alabama. We're going to do that. Oh, oh, we're in Alabama. Alabama again. Florida. Because uh, we're going to Florida, Bama. This is a famous dive bar. I think it's in a lot of songs. I think Jimmy Buffett sings about it. All those beach rock tiki music guys sing about it. And it's literally on the state line here. Uh, it's supposed to be dive bar like central. And look at this. There is an Alabama cop or sheriff on one side and a Florida sheriff on the other side. So uh, like staring each other down. But we're going to go get our dive bar drink uh, drink on. This so, person, this person. Oh, yeah, this person, this. this person probably had a few too many. <laughs> yep, yep. Drink up. When was the last time you've been to a dive bar and there'd be little ponies? And then Catalina, there's still full rodeo going on here right on the beach. We gotta go check this place out. Let's go check it out. There's like a big dive bar inside and then there's this outside area here that goes uh, right, out to, uh, right out to the beach. Beers are like three or four bucks. Uh, a mixed tiki drink is uh, six, so uh, not too bad. There's the bar. And there's the ocean. Just look at the diviness. It's pretty divey. You have to be 18 or over to come after like six o'clock. So plan accordingly. And it looks like this probably this price probably gets pretty crazy. <laughs> falling off pretty much sums it all up. It's yeah. a place. It's a cool place. Uh, we're swinging through for a cocktail or cheap beer. All right, it's like three o'clock. Uh, we are at our fourth park of the day. Third park with actual rides. Uh, still bitter about the SPF visa being down at the track. But we are at where the green flag is always flying. I see American flags. You see just, just the green flag always flies, that means it never stops. Yeah, yeah. It's, there's it's never no, caution. There's, 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 no, there's no checkered flag. Um, you can see the brain here, so... Uh, yeah, and then like on the, the sign they had Bullwinkle. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's let's go check this out. This is, uh, sorry, I should have referenced this. We're in Canada. Uh, so yeah, it's all the same. Pensacola, Florida, we're kind of heading back towards Orlando. Well, main reason here, we are here for the Emerald Coaster, what I believe just opened in the last year or so here so uh, let's, let's go check it out the other coaster here is a minor mic and this I gotta be honest so it's powered through the lift and there's gravity so you can count this one but but I've never seen a smaller roller coaster in my life like comparison how tall are you 511 uh, 511 you don't even have to look up on RCDB for this he is 5'11". This is probably 48 inches, 54 inches tall. Like, the coaster isn't probably even tall enough to ride a BNM. <laughs> so we don't know if it's open or not. The park uh, has seen some better days here. Not oh, quite sure. What... This is the country, country, country. row tour. Row. Row, row tour. Row. Uh, it's a mild thrill attraction. 
Um, it looks like it's from those cars. No, no, this is probably, I, I'm guessing this is probably one of those pedal bike things the kids pedal. But All right, well, we're going to go try and see if we can ride this 54-inch uh, tall roller coaster. I've uh, been on a lot of antique cars, but never one without barbecue in the middle of it. All right, so that was Sam's Fun City. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely not like an FEC. They have like train ride, merry-go-round, Ferris wheel, um, go-karts, water park. Water park with like probably four or five slides. So it's they're not like a small little thing. You know, two coasters. Um, and the park's seen a little bit better days, um, but you know, a little t uh, TLC could make it a pretty cool little place. But shout out to the manager. She was awesome. Uh, she helped us get on the, uh, the coaster. Um, we valleyed it because we were too fat, so we had to take turns. Um, uh, but uh, shout out to her, she, she knew, totally knew we were coaster nerds and uh, had no problem uh, laughing right along with us. So a uh, cool place. And now uh, she recommended some barbecue motorcycle bar uh, we're gonna go to along the beach. So we're gonna try to check that out. All right, uh, we stopped and had some barbecue at the recommendation of the uh, Sam's Fun City where the flag's always green. Uh, manager, uh, we never did see a green flag at Sam's Fun City. <laughs> So uh, lies there, but no, no, they're, they're really cool people there. Um, East River Barbecue, right along 98 here on our way back to Panama City Beach. Um, I'm kind of a barbecue snob. I love barbecue. I always try to check out barbecue whenever I'm on a trip. It was good, not great, not bad, but I mean, points for the view here. I mean, it's right on the uh, the intercoastal. I, I, I guess they would call it the intercoastal here. I know they do it on like the Atlantic side, but uh, along the intercoastal right here, I mean sweet tea and beer came out in giant like uh mugs uh, or mason jars so that was pretty cool so uh, not too bad now we mosey on to uh to get more coasters random theme park called the track in destin we don't know what kind of ride that is you know what kind of ride that is uh let us know it looks like it's missing something we don't think it's operational I think there's one possibility as to what it is, and it's a knockoff Sky Coaster, believe it or not. That's weird. I, I But there has to be another boom somewhere, and I don't yeah. know where it's at. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, it's going. Okay. All right, all right. So we are driving through the park because we're badass like that. No, actually, the parking's in the back of the park. So to get to the parking, you drive through the park <laughs> and try not to hit this family, this nice family who probably spent all day at the beach. Um, uh, oh, hey, look, paratrooper. Uh, got a paratrooper. We've got an Eli Scrambler. We've got a music fest. Spider. It's a nice music ride, actually. Bear Affair. Oh, that's such a good white <laughs> trash carnival ride. They call it the Wild Bear. So there you uh, go. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's let's go check this out. So here's the coaster. This is there's quite a few uh, of these around. I know like Glenwood Cavern has one. Uh, I just always love to point out like where I first saw the video. Look at that sharp, sharp drop right there. That's pretty crazy. So uh, yeah, let's let's go check it out. It's like eight o'clock, I think, and uh, fifth park of the day, fourth park, something like that. And uh, it should be a fun ride. These are kind of crazy. All right, we're here. We rode this, and it was awesome because a lot of the, a lot of the, there's quite a few, like what probably five or six of these yeah. in, the United, yeah. in the states, uh, and a lot of them like right there would have breaks before you go down the, the crazy crazy dive right there, or uh, or breaks over there. They said no breaks. This was uh, wide open the whole whole ride. I mean, there wasn't even breaks installed there. Uh, so it was smooth and only T-bars. So older shoulders like some of them have, and that, that was uh, really good. Con uh, contender for best coaster of the trip. Not saying a lot, but uh, uh, a really good time. For six bucks, not bad. It's not every day you see uh, old school ski ball lanes. Uh, most of them are being replaced by the more modern ones that are a little smaller. In Cedar Point, you used to have like, probably like 100 of these in the main arcade. It's cool to see a bunch here. It looks like they still work, so uh, it's game time. So we just rode the best coaster of the trip. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, this is objectively the only real good coaster. <laughs> Where are we? We're on. not in Gulf Shores. No, we're back in Orlando. 
Um, and White, uh, White Lightning was, uh, was hauling. Yeah, you know what? It always runs well. It's always good. Um, they always applaud for you when you get off the ride. All, all, until you actually safe, leave the station. Safe, clean, fun. Like, the longer you stay there, the, like, the more they applaud. It's like getting a long-standing O. Uh, so now we gotta go get, buy Mexican food and, uh, and we mainly stop here just to go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we figured we might as well ride white lightning. Uh, so now we are headed to uh, Mind Blower. Yeah, we're headed to Mind Blower. Get them credits, son. All right, so, uh, well, we just went to Fun Spot. We forgot to talk about that. Mind Blower, you rode it twice. What do you think? Yeah. Look, look, I'm not like, I'm not one of those dudes that's like, oh, everything's rough. Like that complains about B&M rattle or anything, but like, it's not good. It's not good. It's, like, got, I, it's gotten really, really bad. It, it's not. It's not a good ride. Like it's it, okay. Like the the layout's good, right? And it doesn't hurt. The problem is that it like you can tell like it's gonna be bad real soon. Real so soon. so what was the best uh, coaster of the trip or the most expensive? Oh, what's this? We ended up at SeaWorld to ride Mako. Yeah, we were like it was what like two thirty, and we were at Fun Spot. It's like okay, we got like almost two hours to kill, like what are we gonna do? Yeah. It's like, you know what, screw it, I'll spend the money, we're gonna go to SeaWorld. And uh, here we are, and I got five rides in 40 minutes on Mako. It's so good, it's so front, good. front seat's so the way to go. Is, front, first or second row is the way to go. Look, I know they redid Hulk. I don't care if like they redid Hulk and made it better, which apparently they didn't. No. This is like hands down, Best in Orlando. hands down. Best, Best in, in Florida. Best in Florida. Like this, in terms of like this genre of ride, like the end is a little weak. Um, which is, you know, a knock against it, so you can't put it at the very, very top. top. It's not like Goliath that just comes hauling in all Yeah, the way. or even like, like, I know like Leviathan at uh, Canada's Wonderland is not as strong as this, but like it, it ends, you know, hot, which yeah. makes sense, because it's 300 feet tall and like 45 feet long. Yeah. This thing, though, is just gnarly. Like, those airtime hills, like... So good. So good. So, so good. good. So well, good. Let's go, uh, all right, Sweet Caroline. Uh, let's, uh, let's go see if we can get our coaster in. Yes. Hey, well, listen up, Little Spoon. Not only am I riding roller coasters today, but you're going down, Spoon. Yeah. Take that, yeah. buddy. Yeah, yeah, it's trash, son. 